Hey YouTube fam, 609 Collector here. Uh, another video, this time a review of the Strong Guy Builder Figure Wave Deadpool. Did I want this figure? No, not when I first saw it. I'd seen it on the shelf as the last figure after someone had like snatched up the whole wave and I was like, nah, I don't need it. But then I saw someone do something with this that blew my mind and then I was like, I gotta have it. So now I saw it again. This and actually Thunderbird. Um... Yo, this figure was dope. I'm not a huge, like, I'm probably not going to do a full X-Force team. Because as you know, like, I got rid of most of my legends. So I ain't starting over and trying to hunt down uh, Cable and all the others. But, who is this? Warpath? I want me some Warpath. That figure was sexy. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, sprung, man. So, I'll probably be getting that. May get a Black Tom. But this guy, yeah, Blue Pool. I did a custom X Force, uh, well, no, custom Blue Deadpool. You guys, some of you, one of you, at least thirty of you, saw that video. It was for a friend. She had a uh, buddy who cosplays as Blue Deadpool, so she wanted me to do a uh, custom of the character. So I did for her, mm. and uh, it, it was fun. Well, I'm not getting into that tape, so I'm just gonna. Ah. Get that. Get that. I'm just gonna blaze through this review real quick because I don't really care about this figure that much. I only need it for a custom. I'm trying to do this real quick. I'm in the process of packing up. We're moving out in a few weeks, so. All right. Mm. Yeah, sexy, sexy DP. Messy ass table because I'm just not even caring at this point. Let's get our focus on. All right, so Deadpool, very similar uh, to the costume you saw. Mezco did this blue pool. I've seen people compare them side by side. So, a little sheath in the back for his katanas. And as usual, the sheaths don't go all the way down to the bottom. They're open, so they can just kind of stick out, flap around in the wind. It's got this little harness here. Now, looking at it, this body, this is uh, not the retro Spider-Man mold, but this was, I think the first time I saw this that I can think of was either Bullseye. I think Bullseye that was his body. Or, honestly don't know. But I do know that Spider-Man 2099, the second one, had this. And I absolutely love this body. I think they did this with Scarlet Spider. Put him on this body mold as well. And I was like, oh, that's so sexy. And then, yeah, the white version of Spider-Man 2099 was on this. Um, and this is a great body. It's still kind of muscular. Not as muscular in the chest area as the Bucky cap. But that's because it allows for these shoulders to come in like that. Like, mm, flexing. You know, whereas anything with the Bucky cap, you could only go forward with the arms. So with this, you get much better range. Look, I can touch my opposite ear. That's nice. All right. So that's the body. I like the color. The lines are really nice and clean. I've noticed that on every one of these, I've seen really crisp lines, even though it stops here. That's kind of silly. If you ever got them like, ooh, I'm handcuffed, but... <laughs> the lines in the back look like they go further. Alright. The neck thing is a separate piece. The collar, the chest is a, the harness is a separate piece. He's got little belts here around his ankles and wrists. They're all made from a soft plastic. 360 degrees on the head. Looks up. Got your little. Uh, move this side. Got just a little, little, little dibble thingy there in the back. Get a little bit of that side to side wiggle. Looks down really well. Looks up really well. Arms come out to the side. If you can find the joint, this is so weird. There we go. Alright. You can get more than 90 degrees on the arm. Goes up a little bit. Goes down. You can get 360. 
and you get so much more because of the way this is when you have it at this uh, angle to the front you can instead of just going a circle like this it can go at an angle like this which is really nice and same thing in the back you get a lot more the katana's in the way but you can see this crazy range of motion you got you can scratch his back definitely not like a bodybuilder all right um, upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows coming in pretty far all right your typical wrist peg up and down oh, sorry had to cut for a second uh, the wrist back and forward little gun grippy grippy hand there same thing on the other side gun grippy grippy butterfly joint goes back so if the arm is out you can go back that far forward this far and you can even let's see if we can get the uh there we go you can get his hands to touch easily you can even get an overlap not far enough to cross his arms but far enough to put his hands one over the other so you could uh hold the sword easily one sword in two hands all right now he's got an ab crunch with the uh with the harness on you can go back that far get that click forward much more all right 360 degrees here at the waist that far open leg split this far forward this far when the last time I did a figure review that far back upper thigh rotation double jointed knee oh look at that um, the line work is so clean but uh, you get upper well a boot cut which is gonna be very helpful to me in a little bit and then the ankle goes down that much up that much and you get that nice swirl all right so that's it for the articulation you get this nifty alternate heads here I guess I see why he wears a mask looking uh looking good there DP all right got the collar off I'm going to do a series of videos with this figure three I'm gonna as soon as I cut this I'm gonna do a boil and pop with this guy and take him apart and then um, I'm gonna do a custom with him now the weapons would obviously fit in his hand but you know nice kind of shape to this weapon which I can only assume is like some fantasy weapon you got your little pump handle there it's one solid kind of glossy shiny silvery blue almost like a chrome and then a pistol here he's got no um, holsters to hold any of these but he's got two hands so you can hold them both at the same time but that's it for this Deadpool not a bad figure actually a really good figure a really great body I really enjoy this body um, I haven't got my hands on the retro Spidey but I gotta say this is probably one of my favorite bodies right now but um, that's it. Thank you for watching again. Like, subscribe, check out uh, my other videos. Right now, for the another week, I'm running the uh, Walgreens exclusive Moon Knight giveaway to celebrate getting 900 videos, 900 subscribers, 900 videos, huh? 900 subscribers. Um, currently, I'm over 950, so when I get to 1,000, I'll be doing another giveaway. But uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment. Later.